Got a new suitcase, and I forgot what this is. This is how scatterbrained I am. Can't remember what I ordered yesterday. Oh yeah, that's right. Got this little um. So I got a new backpack. I'll show you that in a minute. Just a little uh, organizer. A little organizer for cables and charging blocks. Cutting board. We needed a medium-sized cutting board, so I found this one. It's a special kind of wood. All right, researching for a few days on a new suitcase. Um, the ones I have are old and they're the soft ones. I went with a hard one this time, see how that goes. Yeah, my old ones are pretty worn out and the wheels are kind of messed up, so I'm gonna grab a new one. So I found this one. Went with the... Uh, Knocking over everything. Samsonite Omni 2. Yeah, it's got this uh, TSA lock on it, TSA approved. Ooh, that was, that was pretty cool. Let's do that again, let's do that again. Okay, I don't know how to do that again. You know, I mean, it's flexible, but I imagine it's gonna get pretty scuffed up, but it is what it is. Yeah, trying to decide how I wanna pack for the long tours, and I um, figure it's gonna be a little experimentation. Uh, I've been watching videos, and my wife's been teaching me how to like pack better. Uh, rolling up shirts and kind of stacking things like a bookshelf. Instead of laying it flat in here, I'll either roll them or I'll put them like, you know, like this. That way I don't have to go through and pick up a whole stack of things, look for something, put it back. I could just kind of sift through it like I'm looking for records at a record store. Maybe I can use this for dirty laundry, something like that. I don't know. It's definitely nice. I have some, uh, some shows this weekend. I have to fly to Florida and then do a show in um, Tampa. Sanford and Savannah, Georgia. Uh, so I might take my merch in here and I'll show you guys how I'm gonna pack my, my carry-on. <clears throat> I got a new backpack. Go right over there. <sighs> cool. Okay, so I needed to get a new backpack because the one that I've been using for a while is really messed up. It's starting to tear on the strap. Uh, it's starting to smell pretty bad. Done a lot of traveling. It's been on a lot of TSA security belts. Um, I needed a way to get packed up for like a weekend, not have to bring an extra carry-on or another suitcase to check. I needed some balance between uh, bringing all my shit, laptop, iPad, headphones, and then some clothes for a few days. Um, so I went searching and this guy right here, uh, it's the Mark Raiden. There's a bunch of backpacks that are like this, uh, made in China, um, different brands, you know, but they're all pretty similar. Uh, but I'll show you what it is. Ugh, it's hot in here. Is it hot? It's hot. So, all right, this right here, this is set up like a suitcase. Yeah, this is like way cooler. So this is my old backpack. Um, had all the compartments that I needed. You know, it's very, it was very good for a long for a long time, but starting to rip on the straps here. Um, and like I said, it kind of smells weird. Um, real saggy now, it's just, it's, it's just time. I lug a lot of shit on the road. I hate myself for that, I don't know why. I'm trying to be a better packer, but I always feel like I need to bring everything. So that's what happens to my backpacks. Um, so this guy, it's, Honestly, not that much bigger when everything's packed into that. They're not that noticeable on your face, right? It's not that much bigger. I mean, it looks like it's gonna be huge. I'm gonna try to fit this under the seat in front of me on the planes. We'll see. The seats have like 
eight or nine inches of clearance, I think, on the bottom. Might be able to compress this down. You can compress here with these belts here and get it squished down. So we'll see. If not, I'll just have to throw it in the overhead, but uh, I prefer to pack in a way that I can get it in the seat with me and not have to throw it over my head. A better way to do this. I just wanna show you things. This is pretty cool. I don't, I've never really used this couch for anything. All right, so here's the front, All right? Comes down like this. Some ibuprofen, my glasses case, uh, some pens, a Sharpie. Uh, I got some, some guitar picks and I'm, that's why I got that pouch over there because I want to put things like this, like little loose stuff, these guitar picks, put them in there. Same with these value slaps right here. Get yourself some, some mints, right? Got to talk to fans with fresh breath. Uh, so stuff like this is going to go in the, in the pack there like that. So this also comes with a uh, place to plug in your phone, okay? So it runs a wire through here, 65 watt power bank that lives down here. So that's the front. And I'll put my sunglasses in there as well. The back area, this anti-theft pocket here, uh, which I'm gonna throw my wallet in there and you know, a passport if I ever need to bring it. Whatever else I can think of. And you have the, the back access here for it that comes, it actually goes all the way down. Flips out, but you got your, uh, you got your laptop in there. Little Earl bandana, Ballyhoo Earl bandana. Get yourself one. Uh, another pocket in here so the iPad will go in here as well now for my next trick uh, so you can take these compression straps off right and then we've got I've already expanded it it's already opened up and expanded so I already got stuff in here so we're just gonna unzip this and uh, there <laughs> MacBook charger uh, butt wipes got a lint roller in here some band-aids because you, you just never know make do something stupid cut your hand extra q-tips air tag becoming obsessed with air tags uh, and then here's the main compartment here and it's really nicely done here feels good I've got <clears throat> my trainers for when I want to hit the gym on the road um, got one two three four shirts here uh, I'm only gone for three days, but you bring an extra pair just in case you shit yourself, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a pair of jeans and then my gym shorts, throw them in there as well, so. Boom, and then I've got the compression straps here. Pull them down. I've got this handle on the side, if you want, like this. Throw it on your back, ready for the weekend. <clears throat> yeah, so I grabbed this guy here. I already have one of these um, for <clears throat> cables and blocks and stuff. Power bank in here as well, as backup. Charges for the watch, the, the phone, the, uh, the iPad, right? <clears throat> but then I got this guy because it's got multiple sides to it. So, yeah, here we go. So like this, right? So I can put things, probably gonna be like guitar picks and things like that. Just just all the little random things uh, that I had in the backpack. Um, you know, I'll put cash in here probably, just so it's not floating around and it's, uh, you wanna be able to get, to get to things in the backpack relatively easy and without making a mess and messing up your whole organization. So um, the idea of keeping things in smaller containers within the big container is, is probably the best for my situation. Can't forget the Steam Deck. Just like that, zip it up, good to go. Since I'm only going for a few days, I can put the charger in, in here and then just put the Steam Deck itself in the front pouch. It's very padded, feels very secure. And it's gonna be with me at all times anyway. It's not like the baggage people are gonna be throwing it around all over the plane. So, so this is a way for me to uh, pack for the weekend, maybe even a week if I packed right and not have to bring another piece of luggage to check or, or, or carry on. It's the Mark Ryden. If you wanna check it out for yourself, I put an affiliate link in the description here. I got this for 62 bucks on Amazon and it feels nice. I mean, you know, it doesn't feel cheap. Um, all the buckles and straps and, and even the, uh, the zippers, um, they're that YKK, I don't know what that is, but they're very, they seem very sturdy. Um, I forgot there's another pocket up here as well. I've got some things in. Uh, and it's also water resistant, which is kind of cool. So if you're walking around the rain, packing. 
this guy. It's the uh, Omni 2, and this is great. Goes pretty high up. I'm a tall guy, so that works. I don't have to bend over to, to pull this thing. Pretty nice, so I'm probably gonna pack my merch up in it. Got some pretty rad merch here. Put some merch in, uh, in here for this weekend and um, try to make some more money. I'll have to make an update video and let you guys know how this uh, works out. Anyway, that's what I'm doing today. Hope you guys had a good time. Don't forget to check out my Acoustic Vibes playlist. It's right here. Over 80 acoustic jams for you to listen to at your party or hanging out or whatever. Just want to vibe out to. Tune in for my live stream every Wednesday night. Check out my band Ballyhoo. We're going to be on tour this spring and summer. We've got a new record coming out. Let me know what you guys want to see next. i got acoustic videos. I do gaming on this channel. Nerding out about movies and shows and things like that. Uh, just all the things that I'm into. Uh, I got the Tales from the Green Room podcast, giving out music advice, you know, just things like that. Reaction videos. It's all fun here at the Howie Spangler YouTube channel. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, smash the like button, hit subscribe, and uh, catch you on the next one.